What's going on guys? Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on the plugin called Horse Stats. This plugin is really just what the title says. It gives you stats for horses. And not only that, it has other features like grief protection for horses, ownership of horses. So if like a player has already tamed a horse, then other players cannot tame that horse. Or saddle lock. Saddle lock is basically after you tamed a horse, and you put a saddle on it, that horse will always stay yours. So you can also change a horse's color or pattern just with a command. You can change their health and jump height, and you can also teleport horses. So this plugin does a lot, and all you have to do is come to the link in the description, click download, download this plugin, drop it in your plugins folder, and start up your server. So once your server is started up, go ahead and go in your plugins folder, and inside your plugins folder, you should see a new folder called Horse Stats. Open that up, and you see a config.yml. I'm going to right click on this and just hit edit with notepad or notepad plus plus. So you should see a bunch of settings that you can change. Basically this is just all up to you and it really tells you like what this config option does and what it's for. So and also something about this the teleportation of horses. This is risky and your server can like it can mess up if you change this to true. So I'm going to leave that as false and just show you basically everything else. So once you're done, just save and restart your server and we'll head on Minecraft. So once you're in Minecraft server to pull up the horse stats, all you need is some lead and left click to punch the horse and uh, show the horse stats, but it won't give the horse damage by punching it. And as you can see, the stats are here, the max health, the health, the jump height, speed, can it breed? the owner and stuff like that so right now I'm gonna show you guys that the stats really update fast by hitting the horse checking the stats and now you can see it went from health 20 to 19 so that's pretty cool you can use this on any horse that you want it won't waste any lead so you'll always have that lead and right now I have the saddle lock feature on so with the saddle place no one else can even like mess with this horse it'll pretty much be protected and no one can steal this pony so with the command slash set owner and then another player's name you can give away the ownership of this horse so with this plugin you can type the command slash h spawn and type either donkey or mule and this is a fast way of spawning a donkey so I'm gonna spawn me a mule and now I'm gonna show you how to set the color and style of horses so here I have my horse, it's already tamed, but if you want to tame it with one command, you can hop on the horse and type slash tame, and that will automatically tame the horse. So to change the style and color, you have to be riding the horse. So as soon as you're riding the horse, just type slash set style, and then question mark, and this will pull up the settings for you, and it will pull up those, like, the styles and colors and the words that you can use for those things. So I'm going to type slash set style and I'm going to change the color so you can either change the color or style and then you can use one of those keywords that the command gave us so I'm going to use creamy so as you can see the color change and instead I went with gray because I, I don't know, he looks, he looks like a G with gray color on. And yeah, that's basically how you use this command. That's it for this tutorial. If you liked it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe. Alright, peace out, guys. I'm